My name is Robert Krimmer. I'm professor of electronic governance at uh, Tallinn University of Technology. I've been working on uh, or in the field of uh, using IT in the public sector for the past uh, some 15 years in various functions and uh, I've always been interested in how the use of IT can actually change institutions and how it can provide new opportunities to both the ones that have to use the system but also the ones that actually benefit from them. And uh, as such, uh, one particular topic that uh, I want to talk to about today is uh, electronic democracy. Electronic democracy as an idea is, um, despite its most recent uptake, uh, an idea that emerged very early on when there were public electronic networks available. And that really can be seen as one of the first in the right after the Second World War, uh, when people like Buckminster Fuller, actually an architect, was thinking about how people can participate in decision making. And he was actually saying that um, democracy can only become true uh, when every citizen would have a voting device in, it, in his or her home uh, to be able to participate in all decision making uh, issues that are at stake. So really it was about the idea that uh, there is no need of, of, for representatives, uh, the core element of our uh, modern day uh, democracy uh, anymore, but that the citizen uh, would actually take over control over all issues. But of course, the one thing that uh, immediately comes to mind is if the citizen actually want to do that, because I mean, the main idea about having a representative is actually to be able to delegate the need to make decisions. And this is one of the things that we can see in these days when we have an issue with a democratic deficit that people are actually tired of uh, decision making. And as such, it's, it's a question uh, whether or not this uh, possibility of uh, giving increased access uh, to citizens is actually something that is uh, for the good. So we can already identify three major scenarios that could come out of this enabling uh, the citizen to participate. On the one hand side, we could have um, a very um, uh, strong democracy, meaning that citizens are informed about decisions, they are informed about problems, they are informed about uh, benefits of uh, certain things at stake but they would leave the decision still to the uh, representative in parliament, but nevertheless would be able to feedback back and forth with this delegate. We could think of a rather thin democracy where actually um, all the decisions are taken by the politicians and only just people are informed about what the decisions are about and that is pretty much similar to something that we're used to today. And it could also turn into something which would probably be the extreme where we wouldn't have any representatives, the so-called quick democracy, where every day every citizen of a country would have to make a political decision. So we would actually have a referendum every single day. And as we all know, when we consider already one week of uh, political campaigning, a short time period, uh, then uh, Making decisions every day cannot be really an informed decision about everything. So uh, really there should be a balance between those things. So um, strong democracy might be actually our ideal in an IT world where this uh, feedback is enabled. And actually this is one of the major things where IT could play a role in actually bridging this uh, gap that is currently widening. On the one hand side, we have citizens that want to participate, but they are not being heard by the representatives. And on the other hand side, the representatives, the politicians claiming that um, actually the citizens just don't know how to speak because they don't reach the, the politicians in the things that they actually would need help about, like really the, the information from the, from the crowd level 
so to speak, about all what we can see with the spot map movements in the internet. And uh, bridging this gap could be where the potential for IT, for e-democracy lies, and we'll go more in detail with that uh, in the coming sessions. Mm -hmm.